they can't lure these top free agents otherwise. I think it's going to start with what the Bulls decide to do with, with their coaching situation. Like, I often feel like when you build a team, it starts with the ego of the coach. So I think with the Bulls, to try to meet a couple and get fans kind of interested in them, I think they should try to get a splashy name in the coaching position. What I hear in the street is not the same that I hear necessarily with the Knicks. I think the Knicks have other issues, but I think for – the Bulls, it just starts with the personnel and who they get on the, on the floor. Like, I even remember just back in 2010 when, when there was a pot potential chance that LeBron could have joined uh, the, the Bulls back then. And, but the Bulls sold him on Michael Jordan, and he looked up to him. I would want to create my own legacy, not be in somebody's shadow. That's why the Lakers made sense. So when you look at the Bulls this summer, I think you have to pitch somebody on something other than that legacy. The legacy is great. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Six championships, Michael Jordan, et cetera, but it's a new day. These younger, a lot of these younger kids remember him on the Wizards, not the Bulls.